Hey guys, welcome back. This is the fifth video in my Philips Hue series. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use the iOS 10 app Home. Now Home is built into your iOS device and it takes control of your lights and it does a lot of cool automation things. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a little bit on how to do that. If you haven't already subscribed, then please go ahead and subscribe now. Let's get started. So open up the Home app. When you open up the Home app, you see all the rooms associated to your home. Since I live in a studio apartment, I only have one room associated, so I named it Brumel's Apartment. In my room, you can see that the living room lights are on, so it shows you the setting status right here. If you click details, you can see which lights are exactly on. Now underneath that section, you see your favorite scenes. Now these are the scenes that you use most frequently. On the bottom, you see the lights that you use most frequently as well. So this home screen is pretty much a favorite section where you quickly trigger any scenes that you have. So when you go into rooms, you can see all the individual rooms in your house and go into all the specific details, not just the favorites. So as you can see here, I have all different kinds of scenes laid out for me. Some of the scenes that I have are Arctic Aurora, gaming, movie themes, movie time red, and all different kinds of things. Now in order to create a scene, all you do is press the plus icon at the top right. So at the top right, it gives you an option to add an accessory or add a scene. So let's go ahead and add a scene. So to make a scene, let's name it Sunset. Now you have to add the accessories to the scene. So when it says add accessories, what that means is you're adding which light bulbs that you want to be included in the scene. So let's go and hit that. And now let's add in my lamp, my left spotlight, and my right spotlight. So that's a total of three bulbs. And then we press it done. Now that we have this set, we can go ahead and change the individual settings for each of these bulbs. So now let's change the settings for each of these different lights that we have set. So now long press on the living room lamp. Now when you long press on the lamp, you can change the brightness of that lamp. Let's keep it all the way at 100%. Now you can change the color. Now since this is my lamp, I like to have it this to be kind of representative of the sun. So I want something that's very orangey. So let's go into edit. And then from the color wheel, we can try to choose a color that would fit the scene that I want for. So let's do an orangey red like this. And even go into temperature to change the temperature of that. But let's keep it at this for now. We're gonna press done. To get out of the screen, you just click anywhere. So that set up the living room lamp. Now let's go ahead and um, choose the left spotlight. So again, we long press on that. Change the brightness, let's make it a little bit lower to 70%. Let's change the color. Let's make this a darker blue and then press done. And then remember, click out. Uh, let's do the same thing with living room right spotlight. We're gonna bring this down to 70% so it matches. Then we're gonna change the color. Let's make this color a red. And then we're gonna press done. So now you set the three different color schemes that you want. So to test the scene, we can press test the scene. If you want to show it in your favorites, you can go ahead and do that as well too. When you're finished doing all your settings, all you do is press done. And there it is, sunset. Now, if you notice, I have a lot of different icons set in here. So if you want to change the icon for sunset, all you do is long press on sunset, go to details, click the icon, and then you can change that to any one that you like. And then done. Next, automation tab on the bottom. So automation is a really powerful tool. So some of the automation routines that I have set already are at sunrise, the lights, if they are on, will automatically turn off. At sunset, they'll turn on. When I arrive home, they turn on. And when I leave home, they turn off. So to create a new automation, you have a couple of different options. You have the my location changes, a time of day occurs, or an accessory is controlled. So let's say my location changes. So let's go to home, next. And here, now you select the scenes and accessories that you want to automate. So we're going to select all three lights and we're going to do an Arctic Aurora setting. So every time I arrive home, only after sunset, the lights will automatically turn into an Arctic Aurora scene. And then to turn it on, you just press done. And that's it. There it is right here when I arrive at home time of day occurs, it's pretty straightforward. You can choose sunrise, sunset, or time of the day. So let's say all days of the week, 
And at 5.30 a.m., I want it to do a good morning seed, which means that all the lights will turn on. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. And that was the Home app. The Home app comes with any iOS 10 or newer device, and it allows you to do a whole bunch of powerful automation routines. If you have any further questions for me, then please go ahead and comment below. If you liked what you saw in this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you really liked what you saw in this video, then please go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, guys.